to Venice now, where there's been a big protest today. It's all to do with depopulation in the Italian city. People are being forced out by rising rents, partly caused by the number of apartments being rented to tourists at inflated prices, they say. Well, the protesters carried suitcases to symbolise moving away from their own city. Let's uh, get more uh, now from Jane DeMosta. Jane uh, joins me live from Venice. And you were at the protest uh, this morning. Uh, why were you there? Why are you supporting the protesters? Well, because I'm very concerned about the future of Venice, that Venice without Venetians won't be Venice anymore, will it? Just give us some insight into what you're talking about. When we talk about depopulation, how many people are still living there and, and working in Venice? Well, th that's the thing. It's a big difference between the number of people that live in Venice and the number of people that actually work here. The population, the resident population of the historic city of Venice is um, below, just fell below 55,000 people. Um, four years ago, it was 60,000. Um, but every day, there's over 40,000 commuters that come into Venice. But hang on, um, Venice's main economy, its main income is tourism. What are you trying to ask the authorities for? What are you trying to suggest? Without tourists coming in and paying those rents and buying meals in restaurants and buying souvenirs and, and coffees, uh, Venice would be on its knees. It would sink. It's not, it's not what you do. It's how you do things. Of course, Venice has always had a large number of visitors coming to the city since sen for centuries. It's such a special place. It's normal to provide for the fact that there's always going to be tourists in Venice. But it's mass tourists that are smothering the city and they're stopping Venice from being Venice, from having its characteristic things that people originally come to Venice. But Jane, we, know, we know Venice is, is not a cheap city to run. It needs a lot of repairs. Uh, we know that flooding continues to be a huge problem there. There are some beautiful buildings that need a lot of repairs. Without that tourism, without that income, you can't sustain Venice. You can't sustain Venice by having locals the, living there. The mass, the mass tourism that is pushing the residents out, the kind of thing that we were demonstrating against today isn't the kind of tourism that brings wealth to the city. It doesn't, there's the people that come here for day trips or they stay here for a few hours while the cruise ship turns around. They're not leaving any money at all in Venice that can be used to restore the precious monuments that could even be made to make their visits, their short visits to the city comfortable. There aren't very many benches in Piazza San Marco already. They have these things called, these people called the guardians that stop people from being able to sit down on the steps in okay. the piazza and eat their picnics. It's that kind of tourism that's smothering the city isn't the kind of thing that can provide the city with the wealth that it needs to be able to invest okay, in its Jane, survival. Okay, Jane, we're going to leave it there. We hear your message. Jane de there, one of the protesters in Venice against uh, depopulation of uh, the tourist uh, city.